Hi everyone. Welcome to Java Techie. If you are working with Spring Boot, then you have probably come across a situation where you have multiple service implementation and you end up writing a bunch of if else block to switch between them. That's the usual approach. But what if I told you Spring can handle this switching dynamically using just a simple annotation? Well, in this tutorial, I will show you the best way to implement dynamic bin switching in Spring Boot. You define as many bins as you want and let Spring do the heavy lifting behind the scene. Okay? All right. So without any further delay, let's get started. So if you observe, I have created a simple application. Now there is an interface called payment service and it has three different implementation, PayPal, Roger Pay and Stripe. Now if you go and check each and every implementation, they have their own logic. Similarly go for Stripe. Now user can select any payment method. He can go for Stripe, Roger Pay or PayPal, right? So how we can handle that? If you we'll go and check in our controller class, we have the multiple conditional statement. If the user input is PayPal or Roger Pay or Stripe, then inject that specific bin. Either you can go for if else block or you can go for the switch case, right? And this is what the generic approach we do follow. Now, what is the problem here? What if in future I want to add two or three more? A payment implementation then add condition for those different implementation apart from that if you observe we are creating unnecessary object even though we are not using all of them but this approach works well for example let me test one of the scenario let's say the payment type I am trying for PayPal okay so this is the swagger amount is 5000 Payment type I have selected PayPal. This is the sender and receiver. Now if I will send the request, it should execute PayPal related logic. Can you see here? Paid with PayPal. This is the return statement I have defined in PayPal. Now if I will try for Stripe. This will execute from Stripe implementation. This works well. But what if I don't want to take this header? I don't want to add n number of implementation in future rather I want spring to do this heavy lifting for me I don't want to define any condition rather spring will does it dynamically at runtime for me how I can tell to the spring boot that is the reason there is something called map based injection so we will use that to leverage this overhead ok so let's do one thing what I will do I will create another controller called v2 or something like that now in this B2 what I will do, I don't want to inject all the bin, remove everything. I don't want to keep the switch statement, remove that. Even I can also remove these parameters, it's not required. Okay. Now what we can do, we can ask Spring Boot to create a map of bin name and its implementation, something like this. and do the constructor injection fine now what it does it will create a map of key as your bin name is nothing your service name and its implementation if you observe this is the interface and this interface has three implementation right so that is the reason if you will define this structure map of key and uh, interface then what spring internally does it scan its all implementation class of that interface which you define as part of the value then it will generate a map like this this is nothing your key and this is the implementation class or bin object you can say okay this is the key this is the value this is how 
this particular map will looks like now you have the map payment service map and you will get the corresponding bin object so you just play with your parameter since this is the map just ask him hey give me the value for this particular input map dot get will give you the value right so you can do something like this you can get the payment type or payment mode whatever you can define this is your payment type now you have the map payment service map dot get and give the object or, or give the key what is the key you need to pass this payment type okay then just define the variable payment service you can define service also you can add a check if service equal equal to null then throw some exception okay means you are not supporting for that particular service which is not there in a map because that is not the implementation of this payment service fine this is the simple logic you can define now once you got the service you can simply do return service dot pay and give all the input all good right now understand carefully this is the important things you need to notice what is the payment type you are giving if you observe the request what is the payment type we are giving either stripe rajar pay or paypal the simple string we are giving but when you will do payment service map dot get of key what key it is expecting for paypal it is expecting paypal payment service for rajar pay it is expecting the class bin alias name same for stripe now you need to tell to the spring boot hey keep my bin name simple just keep it as a input i am giving for stripe keep it stripe for paypal just define the bin name as a paypal for rajar pay do the same how you can do that very simple just go to the implementation class in service just define the name you can keep it simple paypal that's it that is what the payment type you are giving as part of the input now if you will define the bin name like paypal what spring does go to the controller v2 what it does it will keep something like this paypal this is the bin name and paypal payment service do the same for other rajwell okay rajwell pay do the same for stripe just overwrite the bin name rather spring create a bin name with the same class name with the camel case you just tell what bin name you want that is what the simple step you can do so here also just define rajar pay stripe okay now this is simple when you will get the input as a stripe let's take the same example when you will get the input as a stripe what it does it will go and check in the map payment service map give me the object of payment type stripe now which object you will get for stripe you will get stripe payment service implementation then you have that particular object reference now call the method it will redirect to the stripe payment service okay this is the simple uh, what i can say this is the simple approach or best practice you can follow when you have multiple bin implementation and you want to dynamically switch based on the input then you can go for this approach okay so let's run it and we'll see whether it is working or not let me restart the application so it started now go to the request first let me copy this payload because we have different controller class right we are seeing this v2 let's go to the v2 where we have implemented the map based injection try it out now let me give something called paypal change some value okay now execute the request the request is going to paypal can you see here now let's try rajar pay we are getting response from rajar pay now if i'll give something invalid value let's say pay, uh, pay atm or something like that i am getting 500 and if you see here 
unsupported payment mode okay now in future if you want to 10 implementation or 100 implementation you no need to do anything just define the service and just define the bin name what you want to register and all the heavy lifting rest of the things will be take care by spring boot itself he will just do the map based injection okay so this approach is something we might be overlooked while implementing in real time but i would strongly suggest you to give a try to this approach whenever you can find some factory related stop in your project okay so just give a try and let me know in a comment section if you have any doubts